This video is a how to install new grips on a Beretta 92 series or uh, similarly a Beretta 96. The grips I have today will be installing on my this particular models of 92 FS. I'm going to be installing these Troush slim grips. Uh, unfortunately, they are no longer manufactured because uh, Mr. Shock Trous died uh, back in 2012. Um, but these are rather difficult to come by in these days since uh, they're no longer manufactured. But I was able to procure a set and uh, we're going to install them today. To, uh, first, you'll need to remove the grips on your old the old grips on your Beretta there. Um, mine come with uh, the stock, the hex. So uh, I need a two millimeter Allen wrench to remove these. A little star washer comes out with them in there. Now, uh, the Troush grips, I'm not certain if they originally came with a set of screws to come with it or uh, if you're all supposed to use your stock screws. Um, this particular set I got did not have any screws with it, so I'm going to be re reusing my stock screws. So uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, once the screws are removed, you can just lift off the grip there. Oh, also, uh, should note this uh, firearm has been safety checked. Uh, no magazine, no uh, round in the chamber. So, uh, empty there. It's a good thing to do uh, before you start. I forgot to mention that, but yes, I, I did check beforehand. Uh, so we have one re grip removed there. And, uh, there are instructions on the back of this uh, package. They're um, my, just kind of what you might imagine. <laughs> Remove old grip, install a new one with screws in the holes. So here's uh, the left hand grip there. Smooth up the top, checkered on the bottom. Just place it in. Location of the old one. Snap it on in there. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna try it without the star washers first. See see how that goes using these stock screws. One side, same trick with the other, loosen the old uh, screws, remove the grip and replace.
Here's the right side grip. Right, seems to do it. Oh, wow, that uh, dramatically changes the feel of the firearm. Makes it considerably slimmer. Um, almost like it feels like a, a single stack. I do, I do, I do like that. Uh, the magazine eject button there. Uh, Definitely easy, more easily uh, depressible without shifting your grip. I had with the stock grips is uh, had to shift my grip to hit the button, so that's nice. Uh, I did read online on the forums. There was one gentleman who had uh, issues with the stock screws or the or screws he used being too long, rubbing against the the. Uh, magazine in the well but as you can see well maybe you can't but uh, there's no uh, I see no issues with protrusion test the magazine yeah no no nah, none at all um, so feels great I uh, really like these trouch grips um, the there were a couple users that mentioned uh, having um, a little gap here between the the grip and the the frame due to uh, curing process. You know, uh, warping while curing them. Uh, probably hear that. There's a little bit of a gap, but. Uh, Not too concerned about it. Feels great. Let's uh, take a look and see how much width we lose with these new grips. So the standard uh, width here in the, in the body we got about About fourteen hundredths of an inch on that guy. I have a stock. This is a ninety-two A one. Also has been safety checked previously. Um, with the stock grips standard, just like the ones I removed off that other one, off my ninety-two FS, and uh, and the and the body of the. Of the grip there, we have uh, what 39 hundredths of an inch. Seems to be the widest down at the base, which is about 40, 40 hundredths of an inch on the standard standard grip on the Troush. <laughs> we have uh, about. 18 hundredths of an inch. So uh, definitely a considerable difference on the width of the grip there. It's very, very nice. Um, 
again, unfortunately, you can't get these anymore. Uh, manu well, they're not, un they're not manufactured anymore, but uh, if you can find them, they're well worth the upgrade. So, uh, hope that uh, is informative and uh, happy shooting.